Thank you very much. Um, well, first of all, um, I think hopefully at the end of my uh, five minutes, the so at the end of the five minutes, uh, it'll become clear why I've actually called it accessible photogrammetry. So just to be clear, so we remind ourselves exactly what is photogrammetry. Well, photogrammetry, according to Wikipedia, is the uh, science of taking measurements or making measurements from photographs. But to do that, actually what we have to do is we have to take a large number of photographs of an object or a scene. But today we're just going to talk about objects. So we take a large number of, uh, of photographs and we run them through some software. And the software then analyzes those photographs. From those photographs, it can then build up a three-dimensional model. Now, there are really interesting elements that, or things that come out of these models. The most, the most significant, I think, for the research market or, or the research uh, um, sector is the fact that you can actually measure on these models. So if you can measure it in real life on the real object, you can measure it on the model. Um, but obviously, you can also do all sorts of things. You can actually put it into um, VR or AR or just um, actually available on the web for research purposes. But there's a significant barrier to adoption. And that barrier is that actually it takes a long time to take 60, 100, 200 photographs. And those photographs, to actually get something that is archive quality, actually has to be lit correctly. So it takes some skill for the, uh, uh, the photographer to actually do that. And the second thing is, at the moment, the processing time. Um, it takes about an hour to do a very small model. It can take 30 hours to actually process a large model. So that, to us, suggests that it's not really scalable at the moment. So our holy grail, if you like, would be that list on the end. The model needs to be accurate. The system needs to be simple to operate. It has to be cost effective. And I appreciate it's all about, a lot of it is all about budgets um, within the sector. So it's reusing existing equipment if we can. That the actual uh, offering needs to be scalable and it also needs to be mobile. And if, for us, the way that we actually viewed it is we actually believe the only way to really do that is some form of automation. And once we've actually got some automation into the systems, then we can start talking about standards. And if we've actually got standards, then we can say, yes, this object was captured using this system with these parameters on a given day, and it's a fair representation of that object. And again, as part of that, the data needs to be traceable. Um, so you actually know exactly how that object was captured. So we've spent the last, so Cyreal um, was set up to actually try and do this, to automate the system. And so we've spent the last two years actually developing a system. So the first thing is we tried, let's add more cameras. So we've actually got a multi-camera rig. A multi-camera rig. You can actually operate it with a single camera, but uh, it, obviously it works better with a multi-camera, it's, it's faster. The whole process is software controlled. So everything from the lighting, the cameras, the data storage, the, uh, the turntables, everything is all um, uh, software controlled. And because we've actually got that base now, we can then start adding complex um, functionality like focus stacking. Um, and the processing, what we've actually done is we've actually put it in the cloud so we can spin up as many machines as we actually need to make it scalable. And finally, <laughs> um, we actually really, we still need your help because although we actually have an, uh, a working system and we've actually got one of the, uh, one of the rigs actually in the British Library, um, we've just been awarded a grant from Innovate UK um, to work with um, 
central St. Martins to actually develop this further. But really, we need to know what you want before we can actually add to the system. So if anybody's interested in this, please come and see me afterwards. Thank you.